greetings to all figure skating fans. In the coming minutes on the main events of the day, dancing duo Caitlin Harwig and Jean-Luc Baker have withdrawn from the U.S. Figure Skating Championships. The tournament will be held from January 23 to 29. Our team has faced serious injuries in the last 18 months that have led to mental health issues, and we believe it is in our best interest to prioritize this at this time, the skaters said. The skaters plan to participate in the World Championships to be held in Japan from March 20 to 26. Georgian pairs Karina Safina Luka Berilava and Anastasia Metalkina Daniel Parkman will not participate in the European Championships. They were removed from the list of participants published on the ISU website. Later it became known that the pair Anastasia Metalkina Daniel Parkman broke up. The duo finished third at the Finnish Grand Prix this season. Before I continue to update you, please take a few seconds of your time and subscribe to the channel and like this video. Thank you very much. Azerbaijani skater Vladimir Litvinsev will not compete at the European Championships in Finland due to visa problems. This was announced by the president of the Azerbaijan Winter Sports Federation Fyod Nagyev. Vladimir Litvinsev will not participate in the European Championships. It is due to problems in obtaining a visa. There is no Finnish embassy in Azerbaijan, and in order to get a visa it was necessary to fly to Ankara. Litvinsev is preparing to participate in the World Championships, where he will go, said Nagyev. Russian figure skaters Diana Davis and Gleb Smolkin were considering continuing their careers with the Georgian national team, a Russian news agency reported, citing a source close to the situation. According to the agency, talks about the dance duo's potential move to Georgia were held in the autumn, but talks ended unsuccessfully. Earlier this week news emerged that Davis and Smolkin were considering a move to the Israeli national team. In the summer, it was reported that the skaters could move to Team USA. News of a possible move is already being received by fans with humor and disbelief. The head of the Israeli Figure Skating Federation commented on the information that the Russian dance duo Diana Davis and Bleb Smolkin planned to move to the Israeli national team. I have no such information, to be honest, I have been laughing for three days, no one has contacted me on this matter, said the head of the Israeli Figure Skating Federation. A rare occasion occurred at the Canadian Championships. Keegan Messing came up to the stands and hugged his parents after the free program. This was the last free program at the National Championships, as the skater announced that this was his last season in the sport. Keegan won the tournament and became the Canadian champion. Alexandra Drusova has spoken out about her free skating program for the 2019-2020 season, set to music from Game of Thrones. It was the last season of the show, and I had not seen a single episode at that time. Then I had a three-week holiday, during which I watched the whole series to understand the plot. The first dress was burgundy, very pretty. But it was decided to make something more like Deanery's dress, so it ended up being blue and also beautiful. Daniel Markovich said that in some pictures I look a little bit like Deanery's said Trusova. Also the skater spoke about the costume for the free program Romeo and Juliet, with which she performed in the season 2020-2021. The idea for the dress was very interesting. To have spikes on all the arms only on the track. That's why it wasn't sewn in time for the first two competitions. It turned out very unusual in the end, but I only opened the studs at one competition and two shows. Still, it's hard to think about studs in the free program as well. And at the World Championships in Stockholm, I even cut them off so they wouldn't get in the way. By the way, at the World Championships, I braided my own hair for the first time, my mum couldn't go there because of the restrictions, said Trusova. She also shared her opinion about the free program to the soundtrack of the film Cruella, which she performed last season. Cruella is the program I wanted to do very much, I've watched the film many times and noticed different moments. I had a training dress made for the rolling, and a new one made for the Grand Prix. For the competition we chose a dress with newspaper, one of Cruella's costumes in the movie. My dog's names were written on the paper, but then I realized that the dress was too heavy for five fours, and I started wearing the one I had at the outings. I put on my own makeup for all the competitions. I looked at some pictures of Cruella with different makeup and tried to do something. The image suited me very well, this is one of my favorite programs, said Trusova. Camila Valiva talks about her choice of music for her performances. I haven't chosen the music for my performances, yet, apparently, this option will be open in the future. As long as the music is chosen for me by my coaches, I fully trust Terry Georgievna Tuburids and Daniel Markovich Glichengors. But if I don't like the music I suggest, I tell them about it, and they listen to me. After all, I'm to perform the whole season, so the music and the idea of the program should be close to me and understandable, Valieva said. 
Camila also named the most common myth about figure skating. When I grew up, it became interesting to learn new elements this helped me to work hard. And of course, the atmosphere on the ice is inspiring. When everyone around you is working hard, you want to conform. Now it helps to realize that without this hard, sometimes exhausting work, you won't make good roles, and consequently, your chances of success decrease. Many people believe that athletes are superstitious, I have no special rituals before entering the ice. You just need to arrive at the rink on time, stretch and stretch well, try to concentrate on your program and performance. The most common myth about figure skating is that it's a sport for 15-year-old and very thin girls. In figure skating, I'm inspired by the music and the story I have to tell the audience. The hardest thing in the sport is to be patient, Valieva said. Thank you for watching this video till the end. Subscribe to the channel, do not forget to like it and give your opinion in comments. See you soon.